All right, we are at the Heights Houston Branch Public Library, and we're gonna go search uh, for mythology giants for the Name the Saturn Moons contest. This is Eleanor, Lincoln, Sarah, and Hubie, and Shiner at home, the Fix family. This is Shiner, who is also excited about the project. In fact, I left out some chalk, and he drew all all the planets in the solar system. <laughs> right, so we're going inside. Remember to be quiet because it's a library. Hi. Yeah, we're looking for like, <laughs> uh, mythology. Alright, so um, I think there we are. Animal. Has the recommended numbers from the librarian, and we are looking for mythology. Mythology, yeah, we need mythology to name the planets of Saturn. Yeah, Lincoln found one girls and goddesses, stories of heroines from around the world. All right, so we found this book, and we noticed. Herver and the Cursed Sword, Norse Legend. We found one more. The library is about to close, so let's see. How, see if this one, we're going to take it home and we're going to check it out. These are the names that we would like to submit for consideration for the contest. And here are the reasons why. Gallic Group, Baylor and Ariu. Baylor, a powerful giant with one eye that wreaks destruction when opened. He is also a personification of drought, blight, and the scorching sun. Opposition to the wealth and agriculture meaning of Saturn. Why we like him? He's similar to Cyclops from X-Men. Probably an influence for him. Also, Saturn Hubie went to Baylor. Sick and bears. Ariu. Ariu is the goddess of sovereignty. Sovereignty... Uh, we had to look at the definition for that, which pretty much means she is the goddess of independence, independent woman, and she also plays the harp, musically talented. Inuit group, Melina Igaluk and Amaguk. Our brother and sister, Melina is the solar deity, Igaluk is the lunar deity, why we like them. We found them in the mythology book from the library, and it's a good sister-brother combo, pretending that they got along. Amaguk. Amaguk is a trickster and Inuit wolf god. Why we like him? Lunardic recommended Amarok, so this is our way of tricking into being a good pair with that. And the three little pigs, the big bad wolf was a personification of this. And also, Sarah was Lobo mascot! Oh my goodness! Go Lobos! Sarah! Norse group! Scotty. She is the goddess of winter skiers and hunters. She's married to Njord, Njord, and also the daughter of frost giant, Thiazi. Why we like her? She hunts on skis. How awesome is that? My goodness. Also, she hunts on skis. Alright, not a lot of people do that. She's similar to Disney's Frozen, which has been on repeat for the past six years in our house. Plus, bonus submission for Papa Diazzi. Aiden. Aiden is the goddess of spring and eternal youth. Norse gods ate golden apples of Aiden to stay young. Why we like her? She's found it. We found her in the book in the library. She seems chill. She, we love apples. She loves apples, and reminds us of the Garden of Eden. Herver, legendary Norse shield maiden. She's associated in the cycle of the magic sword Terrafing, and she is a Viking princess. Why we like her? Because she was the first myth we found in the Heights Library. We we're very excited about her. Uh, may not be a giant, but she has determination. She's determined to be a moon. Heimdall, guardian of Asgard, fathered various serfs, warriors, and kings. 
why we like him. We found him in, in the book from the library. He's associated with rainbows. We like painting rainbows, as you can see. And also, he is in the Marvel movies, uh, played by Idris Albra. Idris Albra. <laughs> but please note there is a crater named Heimdall, but it's spelled with one L instead of two, a Mars crater. Frey and Freya, last one. Frey, Norse god of fertility. Frey, a Norse goddess of fertility. Why we like them. Found in the book in the library. And also, it's another brother-sister combo. This one's a happier one. Very proud of Eleanor and Lincoln. Thank you for the opportunity to submit names. Very cool contest. Congratulations on discovering the moons and good luck with the naming. And thanks again. Bye. Right. Bye. If you could name the moon anything, what would you name the moon? Unicorn night. Mm -hmm. Unicorn night.